More than a week has passed since Hurricane Ian hit Florida, and our state is still struggling to recover. The death toll now stands at 136. Some residents who left their homes and businesses are just now seeing what is left behind. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Nesprall. And I'm Juwan Strader. Good evening. We begin tonight with NBC6 reporter Jamie Garola. He's live from Bonita Springs, where a mobile home park was completely destroyed. Jamie, so many people left without a place to call home. Yeah, you know, every day somebody learns or confirms that they no longer have a home to go to, and it is heartbreaking. We've showed you islands that were completely wiped out by storm surge. Now you're about to see a mobile home park that was obliterated. What you're looking at isn't a barrier island. It used to be a mobile home park. All 40 mobile homes here gone, destroyed, and unsalvageable, wiped away by storm surge. They had it on video. We've seen the water come through. I mean, it's I mean, crazy, the water. Crazy the way it came through. Some of the residents here at Bonito Beach are seeing the damage left behind by Ian for the first time, wondering if it'll be the last time they'll be back. We don't know for sure. There's some people that want to rebuild. There's some people that want to just get out of here. We don't even know if we, we're going to be able to rebuild. The storm surge created a domino effect, one right after another. Some homes are on the other side of the bay in mangrove trees, others stuck in docks. There's two rows of homes, uh, four rows of homes, one whole row on this side. Then there was two rows of homes back to back, down one row this way and one row in the middle. Paul Wasowski tries to describe what his community used to look like. Then he spots what used to be his home. It is, see that blue boat there sitting, laying next to the palm tree? It's right next to the blue boat. So a white pile of... For Paul and his wife, Linda, it is a total loss. Their family's been here 29 years. The first 20 years, no damage, no problem. But the last nine, Linda and Paul say, has been rough, especially after Irma. Then Ian hit. Oh my gosh. Well, we kind of had seen pictures ahead of time, so we were a little prepared for this, but the devastation it, it, is incredible. It's worse than the pictures that, yeah, that they... It's, yeah. you, just, you just can't believe it. It's like a bomb went off. never think something like this would happen, and it, and it, and it had, yeah. so yeah. it's hard. Very hard, and it's worth noting that Paul and Linda, they just retired in February. Now, for a lot of these people, a lot of these victims, they really, there is no roadmap to recovery, and there's a lot of uncertainty with no timeline as far as when they can rebuild or when they can go back and start over. Reporting live tonight in Bonita Springs, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.